another recipe of mine so today I will be sharing with you some green enchiladas and for my recipe the ingredients that I will be using is three jalapenos and as you can see they are pretty big and I'm only using three I don't want it too spicy um, just enough for you to enjoy your enchiladas and I am using six tomatillos and just one piece of the white onion um, so here I have cilantro I will be adding some cilantro to our sauce as well and of course I'm making them out of chicken and I have about maybe less than um, one pound of the chicken breast. Um, so I do have three bay leaves. That's going to give it a good flavor to your chicken when I start to boil and cook our chicken. And for the chicken, I will be adding some of the chicken seasoning and caldo de con sabor de pollo, which is a chicken flavor bouillon. It's going to give it uh, a better flavor than just using salt. But of course, I always have to use my salt and pepper to all my ingredients. So with that being said, guys, um, Let's get started with the process. The first thing is start to boil our chicken or cook our chicken through. Okay, so here, as you can see, I have my pot already with um, a little more half of water. So I'm just basically waiting for it to start boiling up and then we will add our chicken in there. Okay guys, now that my water is already to a boiling process, I'm gonna add my chicken in here. Make sure you rinse off your chicken before you start to cook it. I already did. Give it that flavor in there. And my bay leaves in as well and I am going to add some of the um, chicken flavor just drizzle okay and with the chicken bouillon flavor I'm adding a teaspoon or a spoon not a teaspoon and we're just gonna mix all of this together here You could, you could add um, about two or three garlic cloves, but I'm not going to add garlic cloves onto my chicken. I'm going to add some garlic um, mints onto my sauce when I start to blend it. So that's an option if you guys want to do it that way. So now we're just going to let this fully cook through until your chicken is very tender. So we'll be back to check on that. Our next step was to put a pot with water to boil. And now that it's boiling, I'm going to add my serranos in there. Make sure you cut the ends of your serranos. And next is going to be my tomatillos. So we're going to let this cook um, thoroughly until they are softened and ready to blend in. So we're just going to cover this up and just let it cook through. Okay guys, so now that my chicken is done, okay, uh, you can see the color because I used the uh, chicken seasoning that it gives you um, that color and flavor to your chicken. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take these out in a bowl and start to shred our chicken. Now that our chiles and tomatillos are ready, I'm gonna take them out and put them into our blender. So now we have our tomatillos, chiles, and onion, and I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano in here. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit there, that's perfect. And let's not forget our cilantro. Here's my cilantro. I had it in water just because I like to um, add water to our cilantro so it could um, like wash off, wash off really good, like that dirt that it has. So I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna add the cilantro in here as well. Now I'm gonna add salt and pepper to our sauce. Just enough for taste. And black pepper. This much. Okay guys, this is how it came out. So we already have our chicken shredded. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you the toppings that I will be using. Um, so here I do have the ranchero queso fresco. This is perfect for your enchiladas. I really prefer the queso fresco because it has a really better, like a better texture and flavor to your enchiladas. You can use um, mozzarella, um, shredded cheese as well, um, or cheddar cheese or whichever cheese you guys would prefer. Um, but I'm gonna use the queso fresco and I am going to use the Oaxaca queso, which is a really perfect um, combination to add to the queso fresco. So I'll be showing you what I'm talking about. So this is a um, Chihuahua queso. Um, I don't know why I say Oaxaca, I'm sorry about that, but this is a Chihuahua queso. And um, it's really good for melting and to give you that um, really delicious just cheese melting. So um, I'm gonna combine these two together. Um, before I forget, um, I am going to do this recipe and a casserole just to melt that cheese onto your enchiladas to give it that <clears throat> nice um, cheesy um, 
going on with your enchiladas so that'd be perfect but if you don't want to do the casserole that's okay you can always do it like your normal enchiladas on a stove top you guys i have my tortillas here ready we are going to start to warm them up in a comal first and then we're going to add some oil to a pan to fry them up just for like a sec like maybe three like three seconds we just want that um texture to our tortillas before we start rolling them up and adding our ingredients as you can see i do have my queso fresco most of um the chihuahua cheese and my lettuce chopped and i'm using some crema mexicana which is a sour cream and we have our chicken shredded here ready and of course our salsa so let's get ready for the next step so now that i have my comal which is the griddle already uh preheated um just make sure it's really hot temperature so you can start warming up your tortillas a faster process so i'm just gonna add three of them in here maybe give it a few seconds so we just want them like this just warm them up for a few seconds and I'm gonna have them on the side I'm just gonna add any cookie spray you want or even a little bit of oil because we are going to add our sauce into this pan so I'm just gonna give it a few seconds to warm up and then we'll add it in there let's just lower the heat a little bit so it won't splatter all over the place so we're just going to give it a few seconds just to um, cook in there for our salsa or sauce. Okay, now I'm just going to remove this from the heat. Now I'm going to add oil onto this one. Now we are going to add our tortillas. So we're just going to flip them around. You don't want them to over fry them, so this is perfect. I'm just gonna put them in a plate here. Now that we fried our tortillas, and we're going to add it to our sauce. So we're just gonna dip it in here, flip it, transfer it to a different plate, just like this. When they came out, are coming out. Now we're gonna add our um, chicken into our enchiladas. Before I forget, I'm going to add some um, cooking spray to my casserole so our enchiladas won't stick. Okay. So basically, we're going to add our chicken into our tortillas. Sorry. And just roll them in. Put them in your casserole. And that's how it's going to go. So the rest of the sauce, I'm going to um, add it to the top of our enchiladas. And I'm just going to smear it. Okay, now I'm going to add my queso fresco first. And it's just going to be a fairy toppings, whatever you guys want to add onto your enchiladas. This is just my version of how I do my green enchiladas. So we're going to put it in for 495, um, 495 degrees for about 10 minutes or until your cheese is melted. Um, so I gave it about 12 minutes instead of 10 because uh, I was seeing that my cheese wasn't melting fast enough. And as you can see, this is how they came out. They look so delicious, guys. Um, on the camera, it looks like it will be burnt, but it's not. I'll give you a close-up on the edges. It's just that kind of like a caramelized cheese melt in there. But that's how it's looking guys really really delicious. Now I'm just gonna cut through here there's like maybe two of them right here and I am going to serve these with some uh, refried beans and if you haven't checked that out go check it out I have it on my links it's really hot guys so just be careful look at that cheesy cheese cheese I just love it I love enough cheese but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe of mine and Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more recipes and I'll be seeing you guys on the next.